Neighbors defending the mother of a five-year-old girl police say was accidentally shot and killed by her eight-year-old brother while the mom left to go to the store. I just want to set the record straight why everybody keeps saying this and this and that about this girl. Y'all don't even know her. Y'all don't know her lifestyle. This comes as we learn more about this man who police arrested and believe brought the gun into the home. It's still not clear how the eight-year-old got his hands on that gun. Police say a five-year-old boy not related to the family was also accidentally shot, hit by the same bullet. And today, police arrested 34-year-old Maurice Mobley. You see him there for bringing the gun into the home. Police say Mobley is the boyfriend to the mother of four-year-old Serenity and five-year-old Savan. Channel 4's Heather Lee is looking into Mobley's background, but first, Destiny McKeever joins us live in Hogan's Creek with more on what neighbors are say saying about this accidental shooting. Destiny. Well, Janice and Ethan, I've been speaking with neighbors all day, and they tell me Serenity's mother is quite attentive when it comes to her children. So they say they find it quite hard to believe that she would leave them home alone. Every time I see her, she have her kids. Every time she go anywhere to the mailbox, anything, she always have her kids. Sabrina Lloyd lives a few apartments down from the spot where five-year-old Serenity was accidentally shot and killed by her eight-year-old brother. Police say Serenity's mother left the children home alone to stop by a store. Four-year-old Savan was also shot by the eight-year-old, but he's recovering. Neighbors say it's not like this mother to let her children out of her sight. All I see her do you know, I never see her just leave them home by themselves like they trying to say she did. I just can't believe that they saying it because she always with them and playing outside with them. So. It's unclear if the mom will face charges for what happened. In the meantime, neighbors say she did a lot for her children and should not be looked down upon. These people on Facebook and Instagram saying stuff about this girl don't even know her. And that junk, it just hurt my heart because what if something like that was to happen to me? How would y'all feel about me? Now, Child Protection Services will also be involved in this investigation, but we're told by neighbors that the mother has not returned here to the property since she left yesterday with police for questioning. Reporting live tonight, I'm Destiny McKeever, Channel 4, the local station. Destiny, have you talked with any of Serenity's family members today? Well, Janice, I have I've talked to her grandmother and she says she does want to speak with us. She says she can't right now because she's busy planning funeral arrangements. But she says she definitely is going to speak with us soon to set the record straight about what happened here. Thank you, Destiny McKeever reporting live from Hogan's Creek. Thank you, Destiny. JSO says a 34 year old man turned himself into police this morning. He's accused of bringing the gun into that home. Channel 4's Heather Lee has been looking into his background. Heather, what have you found? Well, Ethan, we know Maurice Mobley was dating the mother of the child who fired the gun and the child who ended up dying from a gunshot wound. The other child, as you know, was a neighbor. Mobley is a convicted felon and cannot lawfully possess a firearm. This is his mugshot. He's accused of bringing the gun into the home. According to the arrest report, police got a warrant for his arrest and Mobley came to the sheriff's office where he was placed into custody. Police say he declined to talk about the charge, which is possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. News for Jack's crime and safety analyst Gil Smith says there could be a potential culpable negligence charge if the mother or anyone else living at the apartment knew about the gun being there. The residents was that they were aware that the weapon was inside the house. So if he came there and just hid it there or put it away, then maybe not. That's where there's still so much to do to interview people to find out um, the knowledge of the weapon by the people involved. And we looked into Mobley's past. In 2001, Mobley was arrested for a lewd and lascivious act with a child under the age of 16. Adjudication was withheld, but he did have to register as a sex offender. In 2002, he was arrested for resisting an officer without violence. In 03, for battery in a detention facility. In 04, domestic felony battery and false imprisonment. Then in 08, he was charged for failure to update his information with the sex offender registry. In 2010, resisting an officer. And finally, in 2015, 
2015, he was found guilty of trespassing and possessing marijuana. Mobley is expected to make his first court appearance tomorrow. He has a bond set for $200,000. Of course, that could change once he gets in front of a judge. Ethan. And so, Heather, you went to his listed address today. Do you find anyone who actually knows him? Ethan, we did. His uncle lives at the home and says Mobley would use this address and live there for a short period of time, but was not living there most recently. We went by another address listed for Mobley and no one answered the door. His uncle did tell me that his family wants no part in this situation and did not want to make any type of comment. Heather, thank you very much.